It's a controversial point, shall we say, as much about Sparta is, but I must absorb the women from this. What the evidence is, um, Plutarch, and he's the only source for this, uh, he's a late writer, claims that infants were inspected by the elders of the tribes, and if the infant was in good shape, the father was ordered to rear it, and it was given one of the so-called 9,000 public plots of land. If the infant was deformed, they, that is the elders, sent it to a place called the Apothetai, a chasm-like spot on Mount Taitos. Now, there's no clear evidence that this story is false, but on the other hand, Plutarch is a very late source. He's the only source to mention it. And the 9,000 plots of land that the infant supposedly gets, if it's uh, sturdy, there's certainly a late invention. So there's a big question mark about the practice. But the women weren't involved. It was the man who took his infant to the uh, elders and the elders made the decision. Now, I should say that archaeologists have actually discovered and excavated a pit in a chasm on Mount Taitos. And they found 46 human bodies dating from the 6th and 5th centuries BC. But none of these skeletons was from anyone under the age of 18. It's been suggested that these were criminals, traitors, prisoners or whatever. This find doesn't necessarily disprove Plutarch's evidence because you know, there could have been another place of disposal, but it doesn't actually provide any support for it either. <laughs> 